Hi, this is Joan Hunter from Joan Hunter Ministries. I am excited to share something so exciting for you. Are you believing for breakthrough? You know what? I am too. I've had so much breakthrough, but you know what? I can take some more. I can take some more of the outpouring of blessing that we can't even imagine or anything else. But this is your breakthrough session with me today. Now, this is so, this is kind of a fun little thing. I was on my way to Haiti a couple of weeks ago and, uh, and when I go through, I'm usually TSA pre-approved airport, so I can just kind of like breeze through there, keep my shoes on, all that kind of good stuff. And, uh, but when I, I walk around everywhere, my head is up. When I go through security, my head is down. And you think, what, is that something secret to going through TSA? No, I'm actually looking down on the ground for, for money and coins. We have this fund, which starts out with F-U-N, and any money that we find on the ground, we just take it home and put it into this special fund. And it's so fun. And so we have a contest of who can, who, who funds it the most. I win because I travel the most. And so it's so fun going around, gathering up funds, you know, and different things along that line. And, uh, and just a bit of trivia, uh, I was, when I was in the Chicago airport uh, about a year or two ago, I said, what do you do with the money that people don't like, you know, people don't pick it up because I pick it up. And they said, we gather up just at the Chicago airport over a million dollars a year in coins that are dropped at TSA to the security point. A million dollars. I haven't collected that much, but I actually get several hundred dollars a year into this fund, which is like really amazing to me. It's, a couple hundred dollars I don't have to work for. But I, and it's not because I'm poor, it's fun, Duh. okay, the fun part. It's a little, I'm not competitive, but it is a little competition that we have. And, uh, and it's so fun, you know, it's like, yes, we got a dime, we got a quarter, we got, a, got $25. The other day I got $20, that was kind of fun. So the other day I'm going through security and I'm on my way to Haiti. And so as I'm passing through the little, you know, x-ray machine, I look and there's a TSA agent like this, you know, guns here, legs spread a little bit apart and I, right between her le legs, I can see a quarter. And I'm like, oh, that quarter is mine, but she's got a gun, you know? And I have a respect for guns and authority, okay? So I'm looking at that and I'm like, oh, well, you know, God will make it up another way. So I go down a little bit, there was a dime right there. And so, so as I'm passing through, I get on the other side get to put my couple, my jacket back on and so forth. And they said, everybody stop. Well, if you hear that at the airport, you are supposed to stop with your hands up. I didn't know what was going on, but I stopped, hands went up. And they said, everybody, all of you right here, you have to go back through. So I, in turn, I go back through TSA again. And, and as I'm going through, the agent had moved. That quarter was mine. I was so excited. You think, well, that's kind of ridiculous. So I went down and, and I got the quarter and I put it in the little, little section that I carry the change until I get home. And I thought, I got it, I got it. I was so excited. And so as I'm leaving, I said, God, what are you, what are you telling me through this situation here? Because I asked God things that happen in the natural what does it mean in the spirit realm? And what are you trying to speak to me? And, and as he speaks to me, obviously the word was not just for me, but for you too. There are things in your life that have been blocked. There are some things, financial things, and, and friends and relatives and inheritances that have been blocked. Some of them you can see, some of them you can't see, but it's absolutely impossible to get because of some form of blockage. This happened to be a person. Sometimes it could be a person. But what God says, this is a time I am removing everything that has stood in the way of your blessings. Now, I'm not just talking about finances. I'm talking about blessings. And what God wants to do is he wants to pour out blessings on you. Today is a dam breaking day. And that's D-A-M. It's any dam that has withheld anything from you. 
This is time for that to be removed and the blessings of God to fall on you. So Father, right now in the name of Jesus, I speak breakthrough. I command that dam to be broken in Jesus' name. Flow through, no, nothing in its way. Outpouring of, yes, finances, release of lost inheritances, release of lost money, money that you've just kind of given up on because as I walked through, I gave up on that because of that. So Father, right now, I thank you that you are restoring to them what they thought was lost that they'd never get. Father, any hidden treasures in particular of finances that they're not familiar, that they're not even aware of that they've lost. Father, I thank you for bringing that into them. I had a lady the other day that she got a check for $10,000 in the mail after being in one of my services. And she says, I haven't worked for that company for years. And they said they had a new accountant and the accountant went back and just said, we need to... Um, you know, we're, we're sorry, but the other accountant didn't catch the fact that we still owed you $10,000. Here's your check. You know what she said? Thank you and thank you, Jesus. So that was withheld to her from her. She didn't even know it. So there is money, there is blessings, there's relationship, there's jobs. Some of you are in sales and some of the sales haven't come through. That blockage is being broken off of you today. In Jesus' name, I speak flow through. I speak an outpouring of revelation, of knowledge in every area. In Jesus' name, amen and God bless you.